All right, let's go into Lava World. And now we've got more of these demons. And I've got... And I deal a bit extra sword damage now. Wow. It's honestly just rude. So you know what? I think I'm gonna send. We oh didn't quite go up. Yeah, that red apple didn't hurt me. So yeah, it's just like some fruit are like surprise. We're actually evil, and I don't know why. Wee. Well, ah, uh, oh, I'm just gonna get burned because I looked away for a moment. I see how it is. Well, you want me? Well, I'm not even doing very well with the sending right now either. Like heck, there's sometimes I can just leave the screen. I just go above it. Ah, uh, just keep alternating X and Y while in the air, and you know, shit happens. Sometimes it slams, sometimes it uppercuts. Oh look, sandwich door. But we've got an enemy coming in from behind. So it's something to do, let's beat him up. Yeah, this these infinitely spawning enemies drop sandwiches. Ah What? How? The controller didn't even turn off that time. There we go. So I could grind for the full nine sandwiches right now, but I I don't use sandwiches outside of this state of when it, they're required. And when they're requ except for that one le level I skipped and said went to flower fields called four. That's like that's the one time it's required and they don't just give you infinitely spawning enemies that guarantee to drop them. So, I don't use... And like, the next X required sandwich spot spawns multiple enemies that die as soon as, soon as the objective is, is complete. And they still drop the sandwiches at, at that point. So it's like, I'll have Plenty of sandwiches, but hey, not grinding. And yeah, you can break these these slagged people. All for food. Seriously. Yeah, get over here. <laughs> Ow. Stop. Of course, you did. Yeah, it turns out I also magic jump, so I'm nice and high up. Oh my god. Stop. I guess I knocked him out of his magic preparation or something. French fries! And go. Why are there... Why is there food in most of these? I don't know. Like heck, there was just like a half a hard boiled egg in one of the previous ones. Like how is that still good?
Unfortunately, you can't harm this guy. Yeah. And up I go. Well, there we go. I finally left the screen. That's what I've been wanting this whole time. Just to leave the screen on camera. And that is just from alternating X and Y. And getting lucky enough for it to... Uh, actually, uppercut. Oh shit. X, 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 uh, X, X, Y is a headbutt that stuns. Oh hey. I didn't have that random drop. Huh. Oh, you know what? I have the monkey. That's why I'm getting all these, these weapon drops. Yeah, because Monkey increases item lock. And like... I usually just stick with the giraffe who increases ex EXP. So, yeah... Not used to uh, getting the weapon drops so often. I am getting a ton of money out of it, which was the entire purpose of grabbing the monkey. So yeah, I'm glad I can definitely confirm the monkey is better than the whale at raising money. But you do have to buy the monkey from the church store. So... Nah, so it's like, whereas the whale, I, you just kind of start the game with. I don't know why they just give it to you, but hey. Oh, right, it's for owning Battle Block Theater. That's what it is. Ah, shit. No, you be he, unable to move. Three. Oh, shit. Coin. Give me that. So, yeah, here's the second sandwich required spot. It's re and, like, I already passed the boulder, so I guess this is technically three or four. Ah, didn't get out of the way in time. Let's do that. And just beat up the volcano. Because that's just something you do on a regular basis. Beat up volcanoes. Nope, you cannot use magic while buffed out by a sandwich. And now I'm out of sandwiches, so I need to kill these guys again. Yay! Get out of here! Come on, I, there you go, yay! And I, I died because they burned me, god damn it. Okay, yeah, I need more defense. You know what, if I'm raising everything to the first magic ability, let's get agility up there now. If I can move faster. There we go. Now I get through this level all over again. Ow. 
Ah, god, no. Stop. Yeah, I can block these. Why did it not block the first time? Also, give. Nah, it's too late for pulling. Seriously, seriously, fuck you. Alright. Seriously, get over here. I will spam this till I knock you far enough away that you will roll over. Alright. Do I have any leftover sandwiches? No. Of course not. Come here. Oh. That was an unimpressive group. We Give me your sandwich. Let's just beat him up, steal their lunch. Take that and somehow get in the air. That was interesting. Ah. Nope, they're starting the magic. There we go. Like, doing the air juggling is more fun, but with when I'm more spec for magic like I am, um, it's doing the magic combo is just faster so I'm just going to a magic combo s all these guys stop no no more st <laughs> There. What? Was I off center? Is this where the money start? Yes. And then that last one's an apple. Wait for you to summon your legions of undead. I uh really well, if I hang out against against the top wall they have no that makes it easier for them to be aligned with me. Nope. Nope. Give me that coin. Because I need so much money. Wow. So much food drops. Okay, I don't appreciate you guys being on multiple sides of me, but I also don't 
appreciate the fireballs. There we go. You can tell I've played this a lot by the fact that, like, I could time my attack to exactly when they get up. Turkey chest. S jump straight up. Because I'm a magic boy. God, I... God, the ma- I'm magic jumping up that ledge like that just kind of made me think back to like, like D and D campaigns of means Jack has broken because he just because he picks up one navigational spell and figures out how to use it for for everything. It's like, why do we even bother making dungeons when you're just gonna be an asshole like this? Like, like seriously, Jack is honestly, he's someone you never want to play D&D with. Of course, I'm not very, of course, I'm, no, I'm not very good at the role play part, so, I'm also not really a good with D&D, but Jack is like, straight up power gamer. Or is like Hey, how can I do like over a million damage at level one? And like chain teleport to random houses so I could steal all their furniture and move it to my hotel room. Like seriously. Oh my god, I hate, hate these stupid random fire to- Go away! I did not ask for you here. Well, I guess I'm getting more sandwiches. There. Now for them to just die. Except this guy lives somehow. Yay, more sandwiches than I'll ever need. Just taking up the inventory wheel. I did not need that apple chest because it's definitely a turkey chest and this isn't multiplayer. Falling in rocks! Sock puppet! This dragon has a sock puppet. Like, oh no, it's adorable as it's breathing fire on you. Alright, let's just magic jump so I can get up here easily. Well, don't get hit by the rock. Because that's how you get hit by the fire, and as you can see, the fire deals a lot of damage! There we go. And like, those fire demons are resistant to fire, strangely enough. Like, they even stay resistant to fire when you play as them. So, like, and you just see how the numbers are just, like, going up like crazy. Even when he takes that fire breath. So imagine how much worse that would be for me, who's not resistant to fire. And, oh look, they're back in the Cyclops room. Gonna revive him from his grave. 
Every Terminator aired off into the lava. More strength. So there's a volcano store here if you want more sandwiches. But I've got plenty of sandwiches, so I'm just gonna go industrial castle. Ha 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 ha. You aren't beefy enough to break down break this door. But I can fly over it! Nope. You can't just jump in through the window. I it's that should be valid. But no. They I guess they just didn't expect you to be able to fly so well. Yay, I dealing actual damage with regular sword strikes now. Yeah. Oh, that guy died. Oh, I still have sandwich equipped. Whoops. Yeah, I really don't like the sandwich. Ow. Eee. Got dig spot here. And new weapon. Meh. I like plus six defense and crits. And like, I've got plenty of magic, so the minus two of the magic is not a big deal. Also, it's my own people, finally. I'm just gonna straight up beat them up because of, I guess I'm a traitor. Or I work for. Er. Regal King now. You can just shield these, or, you know, dodging completely, apparently. Yeah, this is really hard to time, since walking into the side of them, them acts like getting crushed. I'll take this apple. And this turkey. Yeah, elevator time. So like, I don't know. This game has like clashing timelines like pe pet people did, but at the same time they and it's just like they're they keep consistent themes, so it's like it just kind of works. Eric's whereas pet people like they were just cl clashing it, they were just strongly clashing left and right, it's like. Wooden boat crashes into a car. Whereas this game's like, oh, it's a castle, but there's now there's we're transitioning to more geary stuff, and oh, this is getting more modern as we go. And it's like, like it's a like there's actual transition where where pit people is just a clash, and it's like. Like, it's not r It's like, I don't know. I'm definitely more a fan of having the actual transition than clashing. Yes, yeah, stop this. There we go. Oh goody, the big guy who drops the cart- oh. I think he's just resistant to magic. Yeah, he's resistant to my saw blades. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't remember my trick for the big guys. That I developed when playing the Blue Knight. That I- just ignore the magic of, because his magic kind of sucks.
Um, hmm, I wonder... Yeah, I really don't remember what my trick was. Oh, right. I did... I did use the magic. I would freeze them and then I just, like, mash Y until they un... Freeze, and I'd immediately freeze them again. Alright. Come on, take this thing out. There it goes. Yeah, I, know, I guess I'll just magic be the hand. There we go. Yeah, no. Industrial Knight is broken. There we go. Achievement unlocked, the traitor. But I disabled old Steam Overlay showing up in OBS, so you guys don't get to see that. And yeah, if you kept the card, don't he grab a weapon from over there? Hey, how's it going? I'm a traitor for now. Alright, let's use the telescope. Yeah. Well, she could see us without the telescope that we needed to see her. Why? I guess these helmets are really bad for our eyes. Also, no, it's also bad for our eyes. You know, not use. Not putting them in the actual. Not using them to look through the lens of the telescope, because our eyes were definitely above the lens. So, whoops. I'm well, just press X to return home. Alright, let's go to the dock. There's no way I needed 11 thousand for each animal orb at the store, is there? It's definitely gotta be like 1100, right? Cause, holy... Cause, I don't think I've ever reached 10,000 gold on the console. Alright. So yeah, the weird four golden items I collected. The compass coming from the blacksmith, so make sure you visited him. If you don't have any weapons or animal orbs to uh, equip, you still want to uh, visit him for your compass. And yeah, those barrels always contain food. But if the cannon breaks them, they don't drop anything. So make sure to stand away from the barrels when you're, you're dodging the cannonballs. Ah, jeez. You know what, one of these days I want to play as the ninja and just be like... How does your magic work? Because they look weird. Yeah, when they go log like that, just hold up your shield. Well, now they're defeated, so I guess their ship is just going to sink now. And here's where you get the shovel. Step on that sandcastle. So yeah, obviously the t he taking the shovels when they're going to do like a massive amount of dig spots. Because says they want to properly tutorialize the shovel. And like, I don't 
think the shovel is ever required to use, but... And it's... Yeah, the bananas hurt me, god damn it. Yeah, you can get some... Um, loot from it. And if you're playing multiplayer, you could... And stand over the hole that your friends are digging up to steal their, their hard-earned loot. Like an asshole. Ow. He didn't come close enough to for my shovel to hurt him. Get out of here. Hey there, beetle fighter. Just, I can wait. There we go. And got an amethyst, I guess. What? One of them just went the wrong way. Oh hey, I killed him before he went into sand mode. Get out of here. Yeah, scorpions only have one HP, so no matter what you hit them with, they will die. Alright. Oh look, I finally got a second shoe. Money. And an apple, just buried in the sand. Still good to eat, I guess. Fly myself over for your shenanigans. There we go. And coin. Hey, beetle. And I guess he's dead already. There we go. The magic sword is definitely the best way to take care of heavy armors. I believe this is the giraffe. Yep. That's how you earn more EXP. But I... Clearly don't need it. Jeez. Oh god. No. Ah. Arrow rain. Nope. Just blew up your friend. What an asshole. There we go. Hey there, random spaceship. Yeah, if you've been paying attention, you probably noticed the spaceship, like, taking the top of the pyramid on and off. Yeah, these aliens only have one HP, so... I'm gonna go ahead and just smack him. Get out of here. Wee. Ow. 
scout. Really? There we go. Yes, as they get out of here. Just got boomerang that coin. And here we go, we got spaceship. They will beam you up. Yeah, I, s I could have sworn there was one time I managed to get the animal warp to be sucked up, but I was still running around. <laughs> 